Artificial intelligence, also in healthcare, it's talked about as augmented intelligence, is here today. This isn't something that will be facing the healthcare industry tomorrow, five years from now, but it is here and providers and healthcare institutions are having to face how they use it, the reasons um, that they have for using it, what types of benefits, what types of risks that they face in using AI um, as a way to provide clinical decision support. So when we think about AI, maybe as a consumer, a lot of things um, are using AI today. I really appreciate that we have new technology in that space, but we also have a lot of risk, especially when we have these tools being used in really high risk areas such as healthcare. And so if we as patients want to be given, you know, intelligent care, evidence-based care, I think that's completely reasonable. And I think it's also reasonable that we lean into innovation like emerging technology, but at the same time, we also run the risk of it harming us. And especially for populations that are already harmed inside of the healthcare industry. So these are things that I think we face even without technology, you know, thinking about how we use tools to make decisions in healthcare, how we save lives, how we ensure people get the right care for what they need so they can be well. I think that's something that faces us across humanity in general. But I think that when you start putting in new tools and when you bring in things that we just don't know enough about yet, that really poses a real risk to not only institutions that are providing um, those tools and using them, but also a risk to patients as individuals receiving that care.